darkness rises and light to meet it. Many of the Dark Lords of the Sith chose to add the Darth Honorific to their name. The very word has become synonymous with the wondrous power of the dark side. However, the origins of the word are unclear. While many see Darth as nothing more than a contraction of Dark Lord of the Sith, there is some evidence for a deeper interpretation of the term. Darth Revan and Darth Malak are generally believed to be the first Dark Lords to have used the title. Given that much of their power was derived from the Star Forge, a creation of the extinct Rakata species, some historians see Darth as a corruption of Doritha, the Rakatan word for Emperor. Others note that the word for triumph or conquest in Rakatan is Dar, and the word for death is Ta. This has led to theories that Darth is derived from Darta and means triumph over death or immortal. A competing theory asserts that the true meaning of Darta is conquest through death of one's enemies. Numerous other cultures or species can and do make similar claims to the etymology of the Darth title. In the end, however, there is no definitive answer. Following Revan and Malak, there was something of a flurry of so-called Dark Lords who took the Darth title. These included Darth Bandon, a former Jedi who was Malak's apprentice, and Darth Treya, formerly a Jedi Master named Kreia, who was cast out and succeeded by her apprentices Darth Sion and Darth Nihilus. Although the Wavelude manuscript is unclear on details, texts indicate all of these Dark Lords died in the year 3951 BBY. The Darth title does not surface again until approximately 2,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, with the emergence of Darth Ruin. It is now believed that Ruin was the former Jedi Master Phanius, who was long counted among a relatively small number of lost Jedi Masters. Darth Ruin was ultimately killed by his own followers. A millennia later came Darth Riven, a Zolosian who took his name from a corrupted Sith manuscript that misidentified Darth Revan as Darth Riven, the most powerful Dark Lord of the Jedi Civil War. Darth Riven fled into space at the end of the New Sith Wars, but the Jedi eventually killed him. Approximately 1,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, the Darth title was resurrected by Darth Bane, who established the Rule of Two with his apprentice, Darth Xana. A date of death for Bane and Xana has yet to be determined, but it is known that they were succeeded by Darth Cognis and her apprentice, Darth Millennial. Allegedly, Millennial's repeated questioning of the rule of two and of the laws of the Sith Order prompted Cognis to end Millennial's training. Because Millennial went on to found the prophets of the dark side, we can assume that it was Cognis who was a direct antecedent of those who maintained the rule of two. Nearly 60 years before the Battle of Yavin, the reigning Sith Lord was immune known as Darth Plagueis. Little is known of Plagueis, and it is easily conceivable that his apprentice, Darth Sidious, whose alter ego was the notorious Palpatine, destroyed all information about him. Darth Sidious proved to be the grim culmination of a thousand years of Sith philosophy and teachings. Research indicates that Sidious served for many decades as the apprentice of Darth Plagueis, learning diligently at the feet of his master. Sidious also selected a young Iridonian Zabrak named Darth Maul to become his apprentice. Little is known about the early years of Maul, though it was clear that he was trained for many years toward a single purpose, to become a living weapon that could be unleashed against the Jedi. When Maul died at the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi, however, Sidious was forced to find another to join him in the service of the Dark Side. For his second apprentice, he chose Count Dooku, the last of the infamous Lost Twenty. While Sidious remained hidden behind the mask of a politician loyal to the Republic, Dooku became the sometimes visible face of the Sith, 
taking the name Darth Tyrannus and leading a violent separatist movement that dragged the Republic into civil war, all part of Sidious's grand scheme to bring himself to power. During the war against the separatists, a fiery young Jedi named Anakin Skywalker rose to prominence. Having long recognized Skywalker's potential, Sidious, after elevating himself to Supreme Chancellor in his role as Palpatine, betrayed Darth Tyrannus, allowing him to be executed by Skywalker. This paved the way for Sidious to take Anakin as his apprentice, corrupting the idealistic youth until he was transformed into the monstrous Lord Vader. With the deaths of both Sidious and Vader, some thought the teachings of the Sith would be lost forever. However, based on investigation and experiences with Sidious, it is clear that this is not the case. It is only a matter of time before the agents of the dark side rise up and threaten our beloved New Republic once again. Join me next time as we discuss Darth Revan's holocron. If you're new here to the channel, subscribe and join the Dreamwalkers on our journey. Be sure to check out the Rancor Report where we discuss what's trending in pop culture, gaming and Star Wars news, reviews, theories, and clues. I do what I love. I hope you love what I do. This has been Lore and Legends. Until next time.